Ooh, that orange roof ain't so bad. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Ark Building Evolved. Hope you enjoyed the last one. It was just a little update, little fill-in. I had hoped between that episode and this one, I would be spending a lot of time building, um, but I haven't. So now I don't have a crazy amount of time. I've got the evening to build, to get a few things done, uh, and to create an episode for Sunday, assuming that's when you're seeing this. If you're seeing it Monday, it means I got a little bit tied up and I built for longer than I wanted to. But that house we built um, in episode 30, and uh, I wanted to ask you guys the, the difference between episode 29 and 30. Episode 29, we built almost everything on camera. Episode 30, we built next to nothing. Um, and I'm curious, a lot of you guys have been playing in this game a long time. You, you've uh, learned a lot about building, and I go through phases between needing to see, hey, show me everything. Show me how you got there versus, oh, just build, just inspire me, just come up with something cool. And for us guys, we got big plans, big, big plans for this place. Um, I want to build uh, a house here and I want to build a house for today. I'm thinking another one right here, maybe maybe with the entrance up above and then uh, another one down here towards this end of things, maybe coming out over here. And then I'll be able to fill in the space. Maybe we'll do some live streams uh, to do that, fill in some of the spaces in between, but that's just phase one. This bridge is just phase one. And then what we're gonna wanna do is move over here to this area. We're going to have to build houses all along here. So if we're gonna get a lot done, I think it's gonna be more episodes like that. Back when I built the Viking town, I talked about cooks versus bakers. Bakers need to see every step, every ingredient. Show me exactly how much of this, exactly how much of that, and together we'll figure it out. Uh, a cook, is there something wrecking that house again? Okay, I'm ahead over there, guys. Uh, but uh, 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 that's a baker. A baker is this house over here where I showed you just about everything. You need to see the whole thing. Uh, that's, that's what you need. And then uh, a cook, Sometimes you just show them the, the finished product and they'll be able to figure it out. Or they'll be able to figure it out by adding their own twists on it. Dang it, stupid thing is wrecking everything over here. Piece of crap. Alright guys, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, I think today is going to be more of an episode for the cooks. I plan on, on making some real progress and getting some things done, and that means building off camera for the most part. I'm going to be bringing you back in between, showing you my progress. Um, at one point, I had talked about having a cohesive style for this bridge uh, and for our whole area. I think I don't want that. I like that house, but I don't want 10 of them. We're going to be filling up this whole bridge, and I think that's going to mean houses of different styles all along. So what I plan to do, guys, is step away from you, actually get a ton of building done, maybe come up with a few different little houses. I don't know which ones I'll build and which parts of the bridge I'll build on, but I want to get some stuff done before I come back. And um, and when I do, I will show you where we're at. We'll talk more about ideas and designs, and I plan on building a bunch this episode. I said that last time, and we only got this done. We'll see if I can get uh, get a lot done with my evening. So let's take a look up here brand new staircase and I've made it super narrow. It took a lot of fiddling around, obviously fiddling with the ruins above as well. And you're going to come through here just once again using the gothic window like a door. But this area is so wrecked, it is so smashed up that I had to decide whether I bring the ruins over and bring them down into it like you can see I did over there or whether they uh, pull away a little bit and they do. So then you come through here. It all works out perfectly head height wise. I don't know how I got so lucky. And then I think what we'll need, uh, do I have another? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put another railing right there. And then I have to decide uh, exactly how this is gonna work, but this is gonna be the basis for another house. I think I'm gonna be using the bits that we have here to get us started. Uh, and I think I wanna build a house that will span uh, from one side over here to the other. It's going to stretch across and, and hang off of both sides of the thing. So I have to decide whether I'm going to use this height, which is supposed to be the top of the ruins that obviously doesn't exist. We're adding that in, painting it green, so hopefully it blends in. Um, and then throughout here, I'm going to have to thicken these ruins. I'm going to have to add a half wall uh, height to it, like you see. Oh! like you see over here. And I think that does a lot for what we got going on. Makes it look much sturdier and having bits like this, I think that looks good as well. I'm not gonna be able to get myself up there, but that's, that, that is gonna be the entrance, I think, to the house on the other side. And then on this side, 
This is going to be your way up. You're going to be walking into a house at some point around here. I haven't figured out the, the exact size and shape of it, but I'm going to be stealing a shape like a, uh, from uh, Be Fun over on the Ragnarok server, the Iron Mine one where we do the exploration. Um, I got a lot of work I still want to do, guys. I really haven't shown you much. Uh, you'd be surprised how much work goes into prepping things. Uh, so let me go back to work. Uh, I will come back to you when I've got a sort of a test of a house and, uh, and the shape of it. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been doing work, guys. I finally stepped away from you and actually got some stuff done. I'm starting to want to peel these ruins back, um, the, the sort of additional bits of the ruins. And I think I want to peel it back to the edge of our house. Let's go ahead and see what that might look like. I'll turn on a HUD for us. And I'll start taking stuff back. We got some fence foundations in there. We got the pillar. And I don't think I don't think it's going to be helpful. I think it's actually going to be getting in our way uh, very, very shortly. And I think it's messing up the view I'm going to give you guys of this house. So I got a lot of crisscrossed, mismatched stuff going on here. So I'm just going to keep peeling back until we get to the very edge of this house. And then, yeah, it's fine. Keep breaking. And then we'll see how we're looking. Uh, I think I got something good that you guys are going to like. We will see, though. And a boom. Ooh, not quite perfect. I have to figure out how to get that lined up. But if I, now that that's gone, you guys got a picture of a house. It overhangs. What I think I'm going to do is mirror it. Uh, and, and sort of continue it over to this side so that that same shape goes over there. And I mentioned at the very end there that I had stolen the shape from Beefun, who plays on the Iron Mine server, where we do our exploration. And I think I had seen it uh, in his hotel. So it was sort of like a, a big sloped house. Uh, everything slopes up to the side. I don't know if I perfectly copied it. I did get I did get sort of the idea. I think he had window, 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 which I can go ahead and try. But he had it sort of come down to here and just overhang slightly. And then I went and added in, those are uh, ramps. So I was going to get that underside of the wood texture. So I went ahead and matched that over here. I didn't realize I had that weight in here. Boom, get rid of that. Uh, so I, I did I had to do a lot of funky stuff to get this going. But I will take you guys back up to the top and you can get a feel for the house from the inside. These roots are really stupid. They drive me nuts. We're going to have to, I think we're going to have to lay down some foundations. We're going to do some stone foundations, paint them green, uh, just like we did with the ruined stuff here. Uh, so eventually, I don't know. I thought I was going to have an entrance to a house here. I don't know if we're going to bother with that. And I think I could even take out some of these ruined walls. And I'll leave the ramp there for now. It ain't going to be getting in anybody's way. And there, you guys can see the, the stairs that go up. I like this. You could easily just do this with ramps. Um, we obviously have had that going. Uh, uh, you can do that if you're just playing with vanilla stuff. And let me grab some of these. So let's go ahead and rail that up. Railing comes goes all the way up to here. One thing I have to do, coming back down these stairs is a bit of a pain. Like if you're not really careful, you get hung up and you go whoop. And you're right over the top. So I have to figure out how I'm going to make that work. I think I have a plan. Um, and then this brings you up here. And I talked about wanting to continue this. So I'm going to maybe take and why did I just, I always rearrange my hotbar. I move the one thing I don't need to move. I think what I'm going to do is uh -huh, take these uh, sloped thatch roofs. Maybe not the last one. We'll see. I'll play around with some shapes, but I think I'll take something like this over, something like this, and then I'll continue the shape of the house over here so it overhangs this side as well, and I'll just have this staircase come up, and it'll be like in between two houses. Very narrow, sort of feel like row houses, and then this can come down and lead you onto the top of the ruins. We'll figure it out. Um, but then you come inside. This is the shape inside. Not terrible. Obviously, we got a big chunk of ruins sticking out through us, uh, up, out through the middle. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and focus on like hiding that. You could just, uh, I sort of did that earlier. We could just sort of encase it uh, would be this one. Like, mm, oh, come on. Like so. So yeah, maybe maybe this is the way to go. But then, then what do I do? I had to overlook here. I guess I'd have to get rid of that. So let's pick that up. Pick this up. And we'll put in a couple of ceilings. Boom. Boom. And... Uh, boom and boom and then this was the thing where I talked about I guess we're gonna have to get ourselves in there um, I gave myself I gave myself some room to get through here and yeah so I think what this is the spot where I talked about uh, the thing that looked so cool about be funds version uh, and thank you for the inspiration but it's funny you watch other builders eventually you get bits and pieces you go that's a cool shape I never tried that before um, and so yeah I think that's gonna look good from the outside uh, and we can well, yeah, see it's a mess 
you get a crouch under here. But, uh, boom. And then that's totally hidden. We'll figure it out. I've been letting the geeks on this Patreon server come ahead and decorate things. Um, and then maybe we can mimic that shape with the windows right over here. I don't know how it's going to work for us, but it could look good. Like so. I got a whole bunch of snap points going on. So I want the one that's going to break the wall. That means I did the right thing. So my plan is to take this shape, mimic it over on this side. Zoom on out. I think that's going to look good once I have it hanging off over the side. I think it's going to work. And watch this. Careful, careful. So I think, ooh, should we do this together, guys? Yeah, let's do this together. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. This is vanilla, and it's going to give me a new snap point there. And I think, ooh, phone going off. Stop texting me, people. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is stone. And I think we will, we will consider this maybe part of the ruins. We'll have to take a look at this. So this is actually going to be a mix. This is a bit of, actually, I mean, it's all still for cooks. But, I mean, this is a mix of, of cooks and, and, and bakers. And then I guess, I, I never said it the last time, but I think then the chef. The chef is maybe, the chef is the best of both. You can, you do both. You, you're really good at building step by step and then, yeah, maybe this is cool. Is this cool? Is this going to look like part of the thing? Uh, I think so. And it's certainly going to give us what we need. Let's uh, let's put some more railings down here. Like so. <sighs> and like so. And I'm going to grab some green paint and I'll start slapping that on here. So it's not perfect, but it, I mean, it kind of blends. Oh, come on. Tell me you're going to do that. Yes. Okay. And... Get this little bit in here. We got that. We got that. Like so. And I think this is going to do something for us, guys. Because I had had a pillar here from this thing. And I never liked it. Uh, but if we're able to do this. Okay, let's just focus on this for now. Do that. Oh. And then we'll do this. Spray it up. See how that looks. But that's the beginning of that look. Uh, I hope that's good. But that's going to tie into the rest of what we're doing. If we wanted to bring some of these ruins out and across here. Tie them into that, we could. I like leaving that like that. Uh, but I'll, I'll figure it out. The rain is authentic here, guys. I hope uh, I hope it's not too distracting. I have uh, done some work, and I tried to bring uh, this design across the entire bridge and have it hang out this side, just like that house does over there. So. There's things I like about it, things I don't. I think the bottom, this part that's all inside out wood, the underside of the ceilings, the underside of the ramps, and there you go, bright sky happening. Uh, I think bits and pieces of that, uh, or actually I think maybe the, the sort of, the backdrop part, the wood part, needs to be painted in a lighter color. One thing I really like about that house, it's light on top, dark on the bottom. The supports look distinctly different from what uh, the rest of the house feels like, if that makes any sense. And I have some uh, Adobe, uh, spiral staircase things in there from the structures plus i don't like those but i did do adobe windows and i've got them all open i really like how that looks and then i keep not using this thing there's a awesome little uh, pass through over here and we went and checked out this side of the house a while ago it's a little bit different i've tweaked things ever so slightly but i think if i get some light colored paint on the underside of that i think that's going to make it stand out so maybe we'll be able to do that together let's uh let's figure out the best way i'll uh, grab my grappling hook Boom, and get me up there. So the other thing I've been working on, and I just to clarify, guys, I keep talking about ruins. We're standing and living amongst ruins, but uh, I am aiming to build parts of this that feel like it's 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 attached and part of it. And it's not going to be perfect. I admit the color doesn't quite match, and I'm stuck with this one pattern uh, here using just the the regular uh, stone pieces. But I have done my best to kind of create some shapes that. Uh, like when I left you last time, I had wanted to tie this into uh, this, and I feel like I kind of did it. I'm still not sure how much I love it, um, and then I ended up with some very weird shapes around here. I don't know how we did. Let's uh, do a little zoom out. Okay, so if you guys take a look here, you can see my ruins continue into uh, the 
sort of edge over there. And I think that looks all right. Um, and what we can do, I've, I've been showing you guys, originally this was, uh, well, this whole thing is just a single ceiling thickness. And I think what I want to do is make it a half wall thick. And that is something we can do with uh, railings and with walls. You can't do it just with the railings. But let's go ahead and put uh, some of the stone stuff on the hot bar. I'll get myself set up to do it here. And I will show you how this is done because this is a trick that uh, it takes a little bit of messing around with. And do I have uh, stone ceilings? Is that? Yes, that's part of the thing. Okay, perfect. So uh, if you wanted to, and we'll go ahead and light that up, um, uh, the all of the S plus, uh, here, we'll put one right here. All of the S plus railings have the ability to switch to half walls. Now, what I want to be able to do is to hang it underneath. And that is something that it won't do on its own. That actually requires a wall. So we are going to try, try and do this, but uh, we're going to try and put some walls up along here, like so, like so, and like so. And then that should allow us to now hang these underneath, which, let me... Come on, it's making it difficult a little bit, but we'll try and get a string of these across. And I think what this is gonna do is kind of beef up the additional ruins. It's gonna, once again, try, help help make it look like it is more a part of this than it would seem at first. I have some weird little snap points going on. I think that's gonna work out for us because, um, uh, because we're gonna be uh, having ceilings underneath all of this. So this is not the worst thing in the world. And so the grappling hook comes in handy when all else fails. And I'll switch you over and switch you over. Okay. And the good thing about the stone, it only has one side. If you're using the wood ones, you sometimes run into other issues. Um, but that means I can basically match the patterns I did up top. Ooh, actually, I forgot. That's difficult. So building the wall off here is... Uh, or building the next layer of ceilings off here isn't something I'm going to be able to do right away. I'm going to need uh, to find a way to snap below this. All right, guys, so things can get a little difficult trying to work from underneath. I am struggling with it a little bit, uh, but let's go get ourselves up, and I'll see if I can uh, see if I can work out the next step here for you for making this sort of half half height uh, sort of thing. And I get not everybody is going to be using Structures Plus, but uh, I think if I am able to build off of this ceiling, or uh, this railing with a ceiling, uh, then when I come back with a wall, like so, I should be able to snap, and it, it, we'll see if it wants to do it. I can definitely snap up here, and then, yes, okay, uh -huh. okay, so it's, the problem is when you get lots and lots of different snap points going, uh, it's when you will have issues. Okay, so that is it. Uh, now, the good thing for us with Structures Plus, once I have this in place, because foundation support is off, once I have this in place, I'm not going to need to do this over and over and over again. Uh, so I now have a wall I can build straight down from right here. And that will mean, if, if all goes well, yes, that I can put that right there. And now that this is in place, I'm going to be able to build all the way out and around. I'm going to be able to do the triangles. I'm going to be able to match exactly what we did on the floor above. And, um, and then what we'll have, if you back up and look at that, is... Oh, actually, that's a mess. <laughs> All right, guys, so obviously we still have some work to do, but that is the look, and I think it's much, much, much better. I'm going to be able to carry those ceilings through so that we have this half height. So that looks good. Um, so the last thing I want to do with you guys as we work on this house, I'll show you some of the interior. And I mentioned that, uh, I don't know, the interior is a bit of a mess. Uh, I am not focused on the interior as much as I am the exterior. Like, I want it to look good from here as you walk up here. I want that to be a good view, and I want it to be a good view from each of the sides out here. Um, so those, see that slope, or that staircase there, that is purely for the interior, and it's not really going to help us. Uh, one thing I have done, uh, Adobe. I tried using Adobe as the pairing for the wood, and um, what I did everywhere, I had windows. And these used to be centered. I may need to make some changes in order to recenter them. But everywhere I have the Adobe windows, I went and opened them up. And it gives it kind of a cool medieval feel. It makes it, reminds me of the London Bridge uh, that is inspiring it. I didn't do it here, and I'll show you why, because there is a staircase that leads down like so. I have a little bit of work to do here to fix up this this corner of the house. Um, but my goal was to get um, 
It's to get things to be not quite a a full or a half width because this was too narrow at first and then it was too wide and I was not going to be able to have the roof go over top of my head. And the only way I managed to figure that out was to attach here where we're sort of at. I think I, I did a little kitty corner ceiling thing. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is one of those where you, you tell me if you can figure it out if if you've seen enough uh, that it's gonna gonna uh, gonna make sense to you. I think what we might need is a big old arch here, something to break up this big old wall of thatch. But yeah, for now I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and grab a spray painter and let's see if we can um, spray paint some of this underside and see how that's gonna look for us. All right, guys, so come on in. I've realized I didn't show you this. I have been working to make sure, what would it be? All of these get uh, region one. I think I got I think I got most of these from below, uh, but making sure that region one on these gets painted. Obviously, uh, with the, the slopes, we still can't do that properly. I'm gonna take out these staircases. Uh, I had put them in in order to try and make this inner space usable. I don't really care about that. We'll have to figure out a different way to do so. Um, Let's uh, sneak out of here and take a look and see if the paint job I've been doing. The ruins are underneath my feet here and they cause a little bit of weird... weirdness. But, a uh, little bit of work done. And hopefully it lightens things up and makes the support uh, stand out from the main part of the house. Okay, so that works. I did miss some areas. Let's get you. And get you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think I might have missed one in there. But those all look good, yeah. Okay, uh, let's, yeah, let's hop on down. I think I can do that. Ready, yeah. Yes, okay, I like that. That does stand out more, it's much more noticeable. I like that that goes around to this side. And then we'll cut through this uh, archway, through the thoroughfare, and, okay, so I have a couple little spots up here that I need to get. We can do that uh, grappling hook wise. Let me go ahead. I guess I took that off the old hot bar. How that all ever happens, I don't know. Uh, let's do this and this. Okay, number two, get me up there. All the way. Okay, and number four, and it's just region one. So that I think does the trick here. Let's grapple, let's just be safe. And grapple in here. Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, that could totally be the flip the other way, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. I think, guys, I think I feel pretty good about this. Now, what do we do with the roof? Uh, we painted the roof on the last one dark. I want to keep the roof on this one light. But one thing I'm not in love with is how much thatch I am looking at without anything to break it up. I'm wondering, maybe if we took these out... Uh, I'll let me grab some wood building pieces, guys, and I'll see about adding a little arch to this before we call this an episode, because I'm not in love yet. We could always add paint to this, but I like it being light, so if anything, we'd be doing uh, maybe a, the same tan paint. We'll see how. That makes it look yellowier. I don't know if we want that. I think I'll be sticking with the regular one. So let me, let me attempt a little arch shape here, or I'll grab some building pieces, and maybe we'll attempt the arch shape together. Uh, but either way, give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, that is, that is, it's gotten complicated trying to get things done with this build. I could do that. Oh, but do I want to have a wall here? Because that would mean a ceiling underneath, and I don't know if we want that. That's going to hit, that's going to bump our heads though, isn't it? Okay, so let's, let's, yes, that is definitely not going to be working for us. So, maybe, maybe I just leave it like that. Maybe that's not so bad. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, when you get start to get complicated, and I did this in the Harbor Town in Volume Three of Building Evolved, uh, things yeah, you you tend to not always be able to do what you want to do, and especially try to mix and match the vanilla and the S plus pieces. Woof! What a nightmare. Ooh, Lord, this is a dangerous place. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I accomplished what I wanted to there. That last little bit of change to the roof. Um, I did want to try one last thing and see if a bit of color would would work or would affect this thing. I think we'll have to adjust these ruins or add in some sort of uh, supports there. But before the sun sets, let's try another little bit of paint and try that on the thatch. Tangerine is a secondary color for us. I think the tangerine paint is insanely orange um, on an adobe roof. 
or on a uh, on a thatch roof and we I can come back and take these out it shouldn't be too hard I'm going to do the I'm not going to do the whole thing cuz uh, I don't want to mess with where I have the vanilla roofs cuz they were super tricky to get in place but I'll come through uh, with the S plus ones. I'll slap a little bit of paint through here and we'll back up and see. Maybe this is going to work. Maybe this is going to be the touch of color this thing needs. Yeah, perfect. Go do that. And uh, like I said, I'll leave this a little bit for now, but that should be enough to give us a good picture. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, that's bright. That's so bright. I think it's too much for this one place. But I think I like that. I think I'm gonna find a way to do that. You let me know what you think, guys, because that could that's not that could be a done deal. Maybe I like it. I do like it. I just don't know if I like it on a roof so grand. Let's try a different time of day. Okay. Uh, not so bad. I don't think. I don't know. I'm gonna wait and get, I'm gonna wait and get some feedback from you guys. But I, I I can't help. I gotta carry, get carried away and see how this thing looks once I've I've given it a good good paint job, a PJ. <laughs> all right this this and this oh okay and then come over to this side boom 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 i think it looks great with the wood the standard uh regular wood texture the dark brown logs i like that Ooh, so dangerous mm, it's almost like it could be darker there's too much like white mixed in there it's interesting guys. I want to hear your feedback. This is a good spot to end a video to leave you with what we have done today uh, We went ahead and we worked on a house. It is uh, The first house uh, the second house on the bridge and the first one to span from one side of the bridge to the other That's how it looks from that side and uh, How am I gonna get over there? <laughs> uh, let's go out here And that's how it looks from the other side. Ooh that orange roof ain't so bad. I'm gonna wait and get your feedback. I really am interested to see what you think. Tangerine on the roof. I got one piece I gotta go finish up. But guys, that does it for this episode of Arc Building Evolved. I've been messing around, derping around with this place for far, far too long. I will thank you for the continued love and support on this series. You guys always kill it with uh, likes. This series is the best of anything I do for that. Uh, so please carry that on. Continue. If you enjoyed today's, you made it to the end of what is several hours of building for me. So give me a little love and click that button and uh, let me know what you think of this place. Let me know what I got to do next. All of that. Um, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you all in the next episode of Arc Building. In the next episode of Arc Building Evolved. <laughs>